Hello, and thanks for joining us for a short video regarding COM hijacking. I'm Paul Ewing, one of the researchers here at Endgame. In this video, we are going to show how to use COM hijacking to persist and how to detect. And it should come as no surprise to the hunters and incident responders out there that searching for persistent files within a system is a prime area to find hidden malware. Attackers strive to persist their malware in order to survive system restarts and other access interruptions. And although the topic of persistence isn't a new one, new techniques are frequently discovered. One of these clever and uncommon persistence methods is hijacking Microsoft's component object model. COM hijacking has been discussed before within the community, but we wanted to highlight that it's still usable and detection can be difficult, especially since we've seen it employed by persistent threats as well as included in crimeware. So let's first visit our Windows environment. I'm going to list all objects within the local machine registry hive. And this reveals an abundance of functions from various applications and the operating system. The COM provides a way to make components of software accessible to other applications. But as we will point out, this can be used maliciously as well. We will next list COM objects within the current user registry hive those functions specifically pertaining to the logged in user. As you can see, this is empty. Any key existing within this hive is most likely suspicious, but some third party applications will generate such objects. So be mindful of false positives. Revisiting our local machine available com objects, let's arbitrarily examine the last item in the list. It's worthwhile to mention that these IDs that you're seeing are used to reference each object. And in this case, the class ID pertains to Windows Photo Viewer. So let's target this object as our persistence mechanism. Within the Improc Server 32 field, components are set to run within the same application or process. And as I expand this field, you will see the Photo Viewer DLL, just like we would expect. We are going to hijack this field by providing our own DLL. In this case, we created a DLL to execute calculator. We will add a key to the current user registry hive with the appropriate parameters, of course, and point to our calculator.dll. And here lies the fundamental hijack, that Windows will, will load user objects prior to the local machine. Now as a test, let's spawn Photo Viewer. And we'll do that just by opening one of these default images. And as you can see, and maybe you missed it, I'll close the image, Calculator did spawn. So there it is, very cool to execute the com hijack. And like I said earlier, Seeing a key within the current user space is weird, but you could face some scalability issues when doing the comparative registry analysis across your environment. So I'll show you how to do this check with Endgame. Jumping to the Endgame platform, you can see a list of all the endpoints within our environment. And even, this is a much larger demo environment. In fact, we are going to inspect all persistence locations and hunt within the results across 100 endpoints. More specifically, I'll highlight the COM hijack that we just executed, but keep in mind that there are a lot more analytics being processed. And we're even looking for other types of hijacks. So first, select all the endpoints within your environment where the agent is deployed. Start a new investigation, name it, and we'll call this COM hijack, and select the hunts you want to perform. Now we have many hunts we could select, but for this demo, we're just going to use the persistence hunt and utilize the default configuration for that. Confirm the hunt and create the investigation. So what we're doing right now is we're actually surveying the registry at each host and we will run our analytics against the results. And for COM hijacking specifically, we're going to inspect the user and local machine registry hive. So let's jump to our investigations. So click the investigation that we just executed, COM hijack. And this view showcases the analytics that were performed on the persistent survey. You can see we have a graph here if you want to do some outlier analysis by looking for least occurring artifacts. But as you may have noticed, there is a hijacking tab. So here you can actually see the calc.dll that executed our com hijack. The category being com hijack. Here's the class ID that we did hijack and even the path to calc.dll. It's as easy as that. Uh, and that concludes our demo for detecting COM hijacking. Hopefully you learned that COM hijacking is still a clever technique used by attackers for persistence, and that with Endgame, you can inspect 
and analyze artifacts across your entire network. And we do this to automate the hunt. Thanks again for joining us.